Hey guys, so today we're talking about H&M versus Tom Ford. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we were kind of inspired by the BuzzFeed series, Worth It. And basically, if you haven't seen that series, what they do is they try like very inexpensive things and then try the most expensive version of the thing that they can find. So today we're gonna do velvet blazers and I found a $60 H&M velvet blazer and Blake has a, what is it, $3,800? Yeah, we'll say $3,500. $3,500 Tom Ford blazer. And we're gonna see, you know, does it really make that big of a difference? Can you guys tell? And is it worth it to you to spend that kind of money? So we're kind of gonna go through like why this is more expensive than this and the reasons behind it and if it does make a difference or not. I mean, right off the back, I want to ask you guys, can you tell the difference between George's H&M blazer for $60 and my Tom Ford blazer for $3,500? Can you? Comment below. All right guys, so up first, I will say one thing about this blazer is even after, when you feel this and you feel this, you can tell that it is not the same quality. But I mean, looking at it, I don't think you can really tell the difference from a distance. No, no, definitely. I mean, especially like on a photo. If you take a photo on Instagram and you post it, I mean, that blazer is gonna look nice. It's gonna look like velvet. It's kind of like the same as like a real leather jacket versus like a faux leather jacket. You can tell the difference. Looking from a distance, it kind of looks the same. But once you get up close and actually put something on and move in it, you can feel the difference. And obviously, so another thing is these sleeves are very, very short. I mean, I do have long arms, so if you don't really have that problem, not really an issue, but. So this jacket comes with details, working buttons, which is not quite not common, because it's actually more common than not no. nowadays. Um, and it's just, you know, I think you're paying for the quality. It's done in the same factory as Xenia. So you know Xenias are like, you know, top notch, Tom Ford equally as well. Right. Made in Italy versus made in China. Um, Although I feel like George's blazer is a little bit more detailed than mine is. Like, you see he has like the pipe stitching. It looks very elegant, very classy. I feel like his jacket is a little bit more dressed up than mine is, and mine is top four. Right, but right? I mean, you still have the pick stitching. You have the, you know, the actually working lapel pin hole. You can see that it's actually like, the lapels are actually stitched so they don't flop or like curl over as like a peak lapel would. Yeah. And obviously this wouldn't happen on an H&M blazer because look how, I mean, these are like super thin lapels to begin with. And you know, there's just some little details like, like the curvature of the collar and how it fits. And you know, just little minor things that, I mean, for people that notice and care, make a big difference. But then guys, you're spending $3,500 on a blazer that's ready to wear. Keep in mind that this is not made to measure and it's not bespoke, okay? So usually a bespoke suit or a made to measure suit will roughly run you between $2,000 to $10,000, okay? Now, for $3,500, you're getting one blazer, okay? <laughs> so it, it is very, it is a luxury item. Yeah. It is something that you have to want to get or it's like a celebratory piece. It's almost like buying a, um, like a Rolex. I don't think I bought this to stand out and to be different. I bought it because it was a celebratory piece. Um, I bought it when I went to Paris with my fiance and my, and my mother. And it was something that was like, this is more special. You know, it's something that I'll, re I'll always remember, you know, for years to come. So now you've seen how these kind of look on us and whatnot, leave us a comment down below who wore it better. And if you can really tell the difference between the two blazers, and if it's worth it to spend the extra money or not. I mean, granted, there's definitely a blazer in the happy medium place of like three, four hundred, five hundred dollars that's gonna have probably most of these aspects as well, yeah. but it won't be Tom Ford. And if you guys are fashion guys like we are, Tom Ford is, you know, top of the list in everyone's top designers, I would say. All right guys, so that wraps up the video on H&M versus Tom Ford, the Velvet Blazer edition. Leave us a comment below, let us know what your thoughts are. We'd love to have like a little discussion on, you know, price and cost of things and are they actually worth it, even if you have the money to spend on that, Wait, you know? Did we discuss if it's worth it? What do you think? I mean, I think... Wait, do you think this blazer's worth it? No. Do you, I think, don't. do you think your blazer is worth it? hundred. I mean, it's 60 bucks, yeah. Okay, why don't you think this one's, this one's worth it? Because I can, there's so many other things that I could get for $3,500 that I would much rather, like, I could get a nice watch for $3,500 that I could wear 
every other day, you know, constantly and like have a piece that I'm always wearing. So I would get more value out of wearing a watch yeah, constantly, see, something like that. This is like a very, I mean, especially in a red velvet, it's a very statement-y piece. So you're not gonna get a chance to wear it that often, but granted, if money's not a terrible issue for you, why the hell not? Or if it's a gift. Yes. I mean, take your guys. Exactly. I okay. think I, I think Tom Ford, I mean, if, if, if you're a fashion guy, I think Tom Ford is worth it, you know, in certain pieces, uh, I feel like, his 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 peak lapels. It's it's a certain thing. Yes, it is. But like George said, I don't know if it, if a valve blazer is worth it and investing in all that money. Yes, I have one, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I do think like an H and M blazer is worth it. I have tons of valve blazers that aren't Tom Ford, and I wear them. I think as many times as Tom Ford. Yeah. So I mean, just make a smart investment, guys. Uh, maybe this wasn't, but hey, it looks good. It looks good. It feels good. <laughs> Exactly. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like us on Instagram at Jen Slams. Hashtag your pictures. Hashtag Jen Slams. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. It really helps us out. And uh, thanks, guys. Thanks.